Hi, my name is Andrew with Razorback Off-Road, and today we're really excited to offer for the first time a roof and front folding windshield combination. We designed this product for the 2021 to current Polaris Razor Trail and Trail S machines. In, with our product, you're gonna get a roof, you're gonna get the windshield, and you're gonna get all of the hardware that is required to mount our product onto your machine. We suggest that you start with the roof, and, but before you go and install the roof, make sure that the stock roof is removed from the machine. And with our roof, you're gonna be mounting it onto the four holes that are on top of the roll cage, right here, here, there, and there. So let me talk about the roof. Um, the tools that you're gonna need to install the roof is you're gonna need a half inch socket, you're gonna need a couple of half inch box wrenches, and you're gonna need a 7 16 box wrench and you need a 5 30 seconds Allen wrench. So you're gonna take the roof and you're gonna put it onto the machine. And I would suggest that when, if you are installing the roof, that if you have a friend or somebody that can help you, it makes it a lot easier and a lot smoother to put this roof on. So. So once you have your roof in place, we're gonna start with putting the two bolts that are on front on this panel right here. And for that, you're gonna need, um, you're gonna need this black, this black washer. You need a 5 16 bolt. You need a 5 16 washer and the 5 16 flange nut, okay? And you're gonna put the bolt through the silver washer, through the black washer, and then this will come in from the front here and down into the roll cage, through the roll cage. All right, then you're gonna take your nut and you're going to hand tighten it for now. And then for the back, the hole in the back, you're gonna need a 5 16 washer and a nut. And you're gonna go ahead and do the one in the back now. Now that you have the front and the back bolt in place, we're now gonna grab the roll cage bracket and we're gonna put it right here in the middle of the roof. So we provide this roll, roll bar bracket. And for that, you're gonna need, it's got an Allen, Allen head on it and it's a, a black bolt and a black washer and then you're gonna need the quarter inch flange nylock along with it. So this one, you want to make sure that you have the tab, this bent out tab, facing inwards. So you'll put it on to the roll cage, and then the bolt part is gonna come in through the top, like so. And you're gonna put it through the slot, and put it into place, okay? So I'm doing everything by hand, so that way we can, when we go through and tighten all the hardware down, we can make sure that it's in a good position that we like. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side with the other hardware. So now that you have all the hardware in place, it's all finger, finger tight right now. And what we're gonna do is grab our tools you're gonna grab your half inch tools. And we're gonna start by tightening the two bolts in the front. And before you go ahead and do that, you're gonna to wanna to just reposition your roof to where the front bolt is right in the center of the slot on this front here. And once you're good with that, you're gonna go ahead and tighten it. Okay. And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So then once you're done tightening the bolts on the front, the next step is to do the ones in the back. So we're gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. 
And then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that we have the front and the back bolts tightened, we're now gonna tighten the center roll cage brackets to the roof, and then we'll move on to the next step. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Once you grab your tools, remember to grab the 532nd Allen and the 716 box wrench, and you're gonna tighten the center brackets now. Okay, and then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So now that you have all of the hardware tightened, that completes the assembly portion for the roof. And now we're gonna move into the front windshield portion. And I'm gonna gather some tools and set them on the table and then I'll go over that in the next scene. Okay, so I'm just gonna briefly explain some of the tools that you'll need to install the lower windshield onto your machine. You're gonna need some sort of driver of some kind for the sockets and you're gonna need a 7 16 box wrench. You're gonna also need a number two Phillips bit. You're gonna need a T40 bit. You're gonna need a 15 millimeter socket. You're gonna need a 17 64 drill bit. You're gonna need a 13 30 second drill bit. And for the video purposes, I'm gonna use an impact driver and then obviously a drill on this installation for this product, you're gonna to need to do some modification onto your machine, meaning you're gonna to need to drill and reorient some things. So in the next step, I'll go ahead and show you that. So what we'll start with is, we'll start with the 13 32nd drill bit. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and put that into our drill. Okay, and this on this step, on this step, what we're gonna do is we're gonna reorient the antenna. The stock machine comes with the antenna where it'll actually fold back towards the machine. We're actually gonna need to take it off and turn it around and reposition it so that the antenna will fold down. That way, when you wanna fold down your windshield, the antenna, you can fold it out of the way as well. So I'll go ahead and start that. So to begin, you're gonna to need to disconnect the harness underneath the antenna. And I've kind of already have done that. So I'll just pull that, pull that down. And then there's an, and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna pull this part out. So what's gonna be kind of important is there's two holes that are pre-drilled onto the machine itself. And we're gonna take that 13 30 seconds drill bit. We're actually gonna drill out this back hole to where there'll be two identical holes of the same size. This 13 30 seconds is the same size as the front one, which means that it should work fine for us to flip the antenna around. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so now that I have that drilled out, I'm gonna go ahead and place the antenna like so. And then I'm going to reattach everything. And now the antenna will be oriented correctly. And then once you are done mounting the antenna, you're just gonna flip it down out of your way. And then we'll move on to the next step. So for the next step, we're gonna work on the lower window rest. And for that, you're gonna to need to remove some of the existing hardware on the machine. For that, you're gonna need a T40 bit. And I'm just gonna put it in the impact driver. So you're gonna remove these bolts right here. These bolts have the Torx head on them. And you've also gotta remember that when you remove them, there's a clip behind here. And when you remove them, you need to also remember to pull out the clip. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, so once you remove the bolt, I'm gonna set this down and you kinda gotta work, work the clip out, okay? And then that's how you remove the clip, is just pull that out. 
And once you've done that, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side, and then we'll move on to the next step, which will be actually mounting the rest. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So now that I've removed the last hardware off the machine, I'm gonna go ahead and put this off to the side, and we're gonna change the bit out for the Phillips. I'm gonna put that in the impact. And also for this next step, you're gonna need the 7 16 box wrench. So I'm gonna grab one of these lower rests, okay? And you're gonna need a Phillips bolt, the washer, and one nylock nut. And so I'll kind of go into explaining this a little bit, but you want the rubber latch to be facing the outside of the machine, and you want this, this point to be pointing towards the back of the machine. This part of this bracket actually matches the body panel, and I'll kind of show you in the next part of this step how it will go on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and move over there. So now, like I was saying, this, this pointed part of the bracket is pointing back towards, this, towards the rear of the machine. You'll actually see that it matches this body part really well. And you're gonna to wanna to start with this upper hole on this bracket out of the three, and you're gonna go through the existing hole on the machine. So you're gonna put the bolt through there. You're gonna to need to grab your washer and your nut. And the washer will go on first. And then you're gonna put the nut on the back. And now you're gonna take your impact. Okay, and you're gonna to need to hold this behind and you're going to tighten it down. You're going to tighten it down all the way and then you're going to match the body panel as best as you can. What this is going to become is a drill template for you. So it, I'll explain in the next step. You're going to actually use this as a template to drill through this bracket onto your machine and I'm gonna go ahead and grab the drill now. So I'm just gonna set these off to the side. So now we're gonna switch out the drill bit and we're gonna switch it out for the 1764. Okay. And so now I'm gonna go and drill out the other two holes on the bracket. So now I've gotta drill out these lower two holes. I'm gonna warn you um, just to be careful when you're angling your bit, you don't want to go down. There's some light elements that are right behind this. So you want to make sure you go in as perpendicular to this face as possible. That way you don't go too far down or go too far up. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Okay, now I'm going to do the other one. And I'm matching the body panel still here. So now that that step's done, now we could go get the rest of our hardware and finish mounting this lower bracket. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm gonna grab my 7 16 and the Phillips again. And this time I'm gonna grab two bolts, two washers, and then these two nylock nuts. So I'm gonna begin with one bolt at a time. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the bolt through here. The washer followed by the nylock nut. Okay, I'm gonna do the next one and just repeat the same process. Okay, now you're gonna take your 7 16 and your Phillips and you're gonna go ahead and tighten them down. Okay, once this is all tightened down, you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. 
So now that you're done tightening your, your last rest here, we're gonna go ahead and move to the lower panel. And before we start on that, we're gonna need to remove two of the lower roll cage bolts. So in order to do that, you're gonna need the 15 millimeter socket. Right. And you're gonna come over here and you're only gonna remove just the bottom one and then make sure that you keep the nut in here because we're gonna use this nut to mount our own hardware onto. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Okay. So pull the bolts out, do the same thing to the other side. All right. For the next step, we're going to pre-assemble the lower panel a little bit. So I'm going to move that here. We provide two lower mounting brackets and how you can tell what's a left and what's a right. So driver side is going to have the, the hole on the highest point. So that will go onto the driver side and the other side, the passenger side will go and mount something like that. So in order to mount those, you're going to need four of these Phillips bolts and you're going to need eight of the washers. And really, it should be the rest of the washers here. And you're going to need four of these nylon nuts. Okay. And like I said, I'm just going to pre-assemble this. So I'll start with the driver's side first. And you're going to want the bolt coming in through the bottom. And I apologize, you're going to need a nut or sorry, a washer first. And then you're gonna need a washer on top and then the nut will go on to the top. And you're just gonna keep the same process for the other one. Just like so. And you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. Move that up. The so same thing, you got your bolt, the washer, comes in through the washer, goes on top, and the nylon nut, heat. Okay. And that's part of the pre-assembly. And what I like to do is I like to kind of tighten them down just a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and flip the panel over. All right. And we're gonna grab the same tools as we did with the lower rest. We got the Phillips and the 7 sixteenths. And I'm gonna go ahead and tighten these, not all the way, but just enough to where they'll make it easier to start down the road. So you want to leave them a little bit loose, but like I said, just get them started. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Once your hardware is in place, I just wanted to kind of talk about this. We do provide some gasket material and that's to seal along the bottom edge of this lower panel. However, when you do get these machines from the factory, the plastic is pretty oily 
and this stuff doesn't want to stick too well to it. So I suggest you at least wipe off the oil or clean it, clean the surface before you mount the gasket to it. And I'm not going to show how to do the gasket in the video, but I'll kind of show you how to, how to kind of begin it. So you're going to take your low, lower panel. You're going to put it onto the machine. Okay. You're going to just make sure that your panel is up against the roll cage and the plastic here. And you're going to take a wet erase or a dry erase. And you're going to kind of push the panel up and you're actually going to trace. And I'm just keeping a little bit of pressure down here. Trace the bottom edge of this panel of where the gasket will go. Okay. So then once you're done tracing it, you're going to remove the panel again. All right. And then you're going to take your gasket material and then you're going to actually lay it and follow the line that you just traced for the lower panel. All right. And then once you're done with that, then you can put the panel back on and then I'll go into how to mount that. The next step is we're going to put the lower panel onto the machine. Before we begin that, you will need your 15 millimeter and you're going to need the two metric bolts that we gave you. This will fit onto the stock machine. So you're going to take the lower panel you're going to mount it onto the machine like so and grab your impact and I'm going to go ahead and at least get the bolt started. It's going to go through that hole on top of the bracket. I'm going to start it. And once you kind of get to a stopping point, now I'm going to tighten it a little bit. And before I tighten it, I'm just going to make sure I push down onto the lower panel and now I'm going to finish her off. Okay. So once you have that, you're going to do the same thing to the other side. Now that we have the two lower bolts holding on this lower panel, we're going to now go ahead and tighten these last two bolts on each side. So I'm going to switch out my tip again for the Phillips. I need the Phillips and the 7 16 All right. And you're going to want to try to push down a little bit on this panel. And so I'm going to push, push down a little bit and then tighten it up. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing for the bottom. So once you tighten these lower bolts, you're going to do the same thing to the other side. So once you have all four of those bolts tight, now we're going to go ahead to the next step, which is going to be mounting the actual glass panel now. Now we're going to mount the glass panel and you're going to use the remaining hardware, the two Phillips and then the two nylock nuts. And you're going to take the glass panel and I like to kind of rest it on the lower supports here, the window rests. And then just very carefully, you're gonna feed these hinges and you're gonna line up the hinges here on each side. And just be careful that you don't let go of the glass because you don't want this thing crashing down. So once you got the hinges in, you're gonna take your bolt and you're gonna feed it in from this side and just slowly feed it in and then you're going to put the nut on it. Okay. And you're going to do the same thing to the other side. And you're just going to feed it through. Okay. 
So once you have that in place, you're gonna flip this up like that. You're gonna grab that Phillips and the 7 16 And you're gonna go ahead and tighten this down. And when you tighten it, you don't want to go all, you don't wanna tighten down all the, all the way. You just kinda wanna snug it so it doesn't rattle on you. So. All right, then you're gonna do the same thing to the other side. So once you're done tightening the bolts on the lower hinges, just make sure your windshield freely folds down and folds back up again and it doesn't have a lot of resistance in the hinges. And you may need to go through and readjust your lower panel a little bit. What you wanna make sure is that these upper locks will actually lock onto your roof. And you wanna make sure that everything aligns properly so that way you can fold it up freely and then not have to mess with that later on down the road. So quickly, right before I end the installation video, I just wanted to explain you're gonna receive two more of these brackets. And so what these brackets are for is one of the things we designed into our roof is the ability to put a light bar up in here of some kind. And we designed it so that way, so that you can pick a light bar that you want. And what you're gonna need to do is measure light bar and then you're gonna need to drill out the holes for your brackets. If you notice, there's no pre, -ho pre holes or any other mounting features on this roof. So you're gonna want to pre-drill it yourself and then you're gonna need to figure out where you want to mount the light bar in this space. We don't suggest you buy anything above 32 inches because anything above that, it gets really tight in here. So we suggest anything from 32 inches and below. So that wraps up our installation video for the roof and front folding window combo for the Polaris Razor Trail and Trail S machines. If you have any questions, please visit our website at razorbackoffroad.com. Other than that, we'll see you out on the trail.